Hi, I'm Louise, I'm 28 and I live in Lincolnshire and work in agriculture. Last year I found a lump in my neck that turned out to be thyroid cancer. I was diagnosed in January of this year. I had a good diagnosis and it was all removed with an operation. Luckily I had critical illness insurance at the time which paid out a lump sum. What I would like to know going forwards is, is there any way of having had cancer, getting critical illness insurance again and life insurance? So that is Louise's question. Thank goodness that she's okay. But she wants to know how her cancer is going to impact her getting critical illness cover and life insurance in the future. So to discuss this is Mike Donohoe, who is Strategic Director at Caspian Insurance Services. Mike, a warm welcome to you. So is it possible for Louise to get critical illness and life cover? And if it is, can she get it at an affordable price? It is, yes, Georgie. I mean, the thing with this is she, she kind of needs to look at her options. So, you know, the first thing would be speak to a broker, get them to do your research, understand your medical history and try and find out what the best option would be. But alternatively, it's something she can explore herself. So she, as long as she knows her medical history, she can decide what products are more important to her, how much level of cover she needs to protect herself and her family, and then go away and, and do the research herself and try and find the best outcome. Will her cancer be covered? It very much depends on, a, on an individual circumstance, and that depends on each insurer and different products. But some with the less advanced uh, stages of cancer you can you can get cover almost immediately um, but then again for the more severe advanced stages and advanced gradings then it can be more difficult and you're likely to face an exclusion or an increased premium on on your increased uh, rating on your premium what do you need to consider when looking for a policy but also the provider one thing that's often overlooked is what what comes included in your policy so do you understand the difference between a critical illness policy, a life insurance policy, an income protection policy and what they do. And then also the difference between each insurer. So every insurer offers additional benefits that could be really beneficial to you and your family. So it's important to prioritize what you think is the most important thing for you and your circumstances, and then find the best insurer for you based on the quality of their contract and the price that they're offering you. And you can do that yourself, or you can enlist the broker to help you do that and, and guide you along the way. How important is getting critical illness cover and life insurance? And do you need both? It's absolutely vital. I mean, the, the, we always recommend that the earlier you do it, the, the cheaper it will be for you, by and large. Um, but yeah, you, you're looking at two very different things, Georgia. So you're looking at life insurance would protect those that you love when you're no longer around. But critical illness cover would provide that financial security for you, knowing that if for any reason you, you were unable to work for three, six, nine, 12 months, you had that lump sum to help you recover from a serious illness. So they're very different things and are absolutely vital to have them side by side. Mike, thanks so much. Now it's over to yeah. Louise. Caspian have been really helpful. They've let me know that it is still possible to get critical care insurance once you've had a low-grade cancer. Um, so they're now waiting for my doctor's notes to come from my GP to be able to take to the insurers to get my policy um, up and running. So really looking forward to having a policy back again um, and feeling comfortable knowing that that's in place.